Yo, 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 welcome to the Evergreen Pod where we keep it evergreen all the time. Uh, we talk about current affairs, but we like to keep it evergreen with these subjects we talk about the last forever and ever and ever and always be relevant. I am your host, DM. He's my co-host here, Doug. You ready? I'm ready. I'm Let's ready. Let's go. Will, you ready? I'm ready, man. Let's go. We in here. Dante, you ready? Diggity. 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 So we here. It's Evergreen Pod. We got some things to talk about. Yo, listen. Women's college basketball is on the map. I I, I don't want to be disrespectful because I was about to say officially on the map, but they've been here. They've been here. Been here. Right? Been here. But but they like they got a footprint. Like the footprint is on the map, man. What's, how y'all feeling, man? Did y'all watch the game? Yes. 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 Watch, watch the whole final four, man. This is amazing because I don't think last year this time, if I asked who was <laughs> the basketball final, we'd have said yes, like unanimously. No. I don't think anybody watched it last year. The, the, the ratings showed that. Yeah, who won last year? I don't know. South Carolina, right? South Carolina. Yeah, South Carolina. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we know that because of Coach Don Staley. Right, right, right. right, 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 right. I think only 900,000 people watched last year. Something like that. Wow. And 9 million watched nine this point, year? No, no, 9.9. Nine nine. Nine. <laughs> you might want to say 10. Keep your yeah, point. Yeah, you might as well just say 10. Just, just say 10 million. 10 million million watch, man. Man, man that's, that's crazy. That's the, love right there. The guard has shifted, and it's like, for me, I never really watched a, a women's basketball game at all. Never. And now you got players who just are galvanizing. Caitlin Clark from Iowa. Right. And a then dog. A dog. Right. And just the whole LSU team, like their personality, their mm-hmm. swagger, uh, their coach yep. mm-hmm. represents their personality. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, she blends in with them. The yep. assistant coaches blends, blends in with them. And just the dynamics on how they are and just uh, – the way that they galvanize everybody around them is good for women's college basketball. And I love the trash talk on both sides. Mm-hmm. Yep. I love Caitlin Clark trash talk. Yes, yep. indeed. I love Angel Reese uh, yes, trash indeed. talk. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. The girl from Louisville, I think yep. uh, she had, they said yes. something about her. Yep. Yep. I love that trash talk. That. Yep. It is good for women's basketball. You know the least trash talking team in that Final Four was actually South Carolina? Yeah. Crazy. But they they the ones that people say was polarizing. Right, right, right. And right. it was going to be a bar fight when you played them. Right, 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 and all right. this, bar fight, right. The typical stereotypes and all of that. Right, but right. they was actually, they wasn't even as physical as LSU. LSU right. was physical, no, though. No, they are. Like, shout out to Big Four, man. I know she got the new new little Toonsie song coming up right, and everything right, like right, that, right, man. Right, right, keep right, doing right. your thing, man. Uh, uh, Morris, Alex, uh, Alexis, Alexis, Alexis Morris. Morris. Yeah. Uh, say, bro. Bucket. Bucket. She's a WNBA player Bucket. all day, Bucket. every day. Bucket. Handle, and, the, handle and, the ball. Bro. And defense. defense. And defense. Yeah. And she a Took mid-range, the mid-range Took the challenge. killer. She's probably what we would call uh, um, an elite two-way player because she had to guard the mm-hmm. best player on their team. Yep. Best player in the country. And come in the down, country. On the country. Yes, yeah, she, she was the, you know, the... "Quote unquote Heisman Award winner for women's college right, basketball. Right, right. What they called the Wooten Award or something like that. Uh, Wooten or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I saw yeah, it yesterday. Like that. But you know what it made me feel like? I didn't think about this when we were texting. We've been texting all day about it, right? <laughs> but I didn't even think about it. But you know what kind of energy LSU gives me? And I know I'm jumping out there, but LSU gives me. I haven't had this kind of energy for a college basketball team, men or women, since Fab Five. Yeah, mm, yeah. And, and it's not necessarily that. Because the Fab Five, you had you know Jalen Rose, Chris Webber, mm-hmm. you had Ray Jackson, you had um, King, yep. uh, Jimmy, uh, King. Jimmy, Jimmy King, King, and then um, I don't care, I can't remember who the fifth one was. Jawan, Jawan Howard, yeah, right, yeah. I'm about right, to say right. coach, head coach, 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 coach of most famous. Right <laughs> you had three famous out of there: Jawan, yep. Jalen, Chris, Chris Webber. Webber. Mm-hmm. The other boys did okay, but but for the most part, it's kind of like this team too. Like you know a few of them, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying. But it's like even some off the bench. That girl came in the game. What's the girl name? The first ice, first half. I, ice Spice. Ice Spice. <laughs> Shout out to Ice Spice. Man, man. Right. right, right, for real. Carson came, came in. Yeah, Carson. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Came Jasmine, in the game Jasmine, Carson. and went and went on fire. Who right. who knows? Twenty one points. That you're gonna do that, but but if there's any night I want you to do that, it's, it's that, that night. night. Let's bro. Go. For like what I really like about Alexa Moore is. Called it before the game was even. She told she told uh, Caitlin Clark that look, what you did out there with the playing defense in the paint and just waving them off like that's disrespectful. You're not gonna do that to us, right? And then they went out there. and they so, showed them. LSU was a 19 percent from mm-hmm. three point range mm-hmm. before the game for the tournament Jeez. before that game the worst. for the season. They was the worst. Before the worst. That game. The worst at that point in the tournament. They shot over 50 percent. They shot 70 percent in the first half. Yeah. And it was over 50% for the game. Let's talk about stepping up to the plate, man. 
<laughs> and, it, and it was mostly two players off the bench. Um, the other, the other young lady, Paul. Poor. Poor. Last year, last uh-huh. year, Paul. Um, mm-hmm. was the junior, was the junior college player of the year the year before. Yep. Mm-hmm. So she gonna be a bucket next year because she right. gonna be in the starting lineup next year for LSU. Yeah. See, in college basketball, we kind of talked about this in college basketball. It was all college women's college basketball. It was always who had the bigger girls, who can impose their will. It was always that type of thing. I'm not I'm not saying that there was no skill set, and there's a lot of skill, mm-hmm. but it was always who can just dominate under the rim and dominate what, what we're doing. So even like they shoot 19, percent but they still beating people because Angel under there getting them getting boards, them, getting them boards, boards. <laughs> on, 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 you, know, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> Miss Double Williams Double, what they call, get, huh? so, right. So so now with that, if you're getting you know offensive rebounds every time and putting it back, of course you're gonna beat a team. You know what I'm saying? If other teams are shooting remotely. You know, as low as you are from from far range, you know what I'm saying. You're gonna do that, but now it gives a different game. Caitlin Clark shows a different game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, hey, man. bro, you know, hey, Curry. Look. Chef Curry with hey, the bro. shot, man. Hey, hey. hey, bro, when I saw her, when I saw her attack, you know, hop step back and just let that sucker fly in nothing but bottle. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, yo. You, hey, didn't, yo. you didn't play with us before. Yeah, yeah. Well, her, her, yeah, yeah. Her, her dad said that they had to put on a boys AAU team. Yeah, because they couldn't find nobody for to play right. with. And right. I, what he means is she was way better than everybody. Yeah, yeah. And she's gonna be wasting the time. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm with all that, bro. I'm, I'm with I'm all, with that. all that. When, when I, I watched the girl pull up from the logo. Yeah, bro. she did. But see, here's five out, man. Just see, Drano. Listen, and here's the thing. Now, I'm not gonna sit up here. Can, can we be honest, right quick, fellas? Mm-hmm. Let's be honest. I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I'm not gonna ride the wave and sit up and act like I'm a I'm a uh, a, a women's basketball fan because mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm probably not. Okay, let me just be honest. Keep a buck. I'm pro- it's probably not gonna be the first thing I found myself though watching games on Saturdays. Mm-hmm. I ain't tell y'all about it, but I was watching. <laughs> I, was watching I was watching games on Saturdays, watching some of the games, right? Mm-hmm. And even the the LSU final. I went four to game, a, I went to a couple of LSU games. Yeah, yeah, and see, my yeah. brother, my brother got uh, my brother and my sister in law got season tickets for it. Mm-hmm. Didn't know they was at the games and stuff. <laughs> Right, oh, they ain't never invite me. Like, hey. and they, they ain't tell you. They ain't tell me nothing. And even I, y'all saw. I text y'all the first, the final four game of LSU. And I'm like, man, as exciting as this is, the first part of this game feel kind of boring because mm-hmm. they miss a lot of shots. So I'm not up sitting up here riding away and like, oh, we've been fans. I, I haven't been. Mm-hmm. I haven't been because you know. But 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 when you when you and here's how it, everything is in life. And and I hope it's not about women or men to me right now. Is everything in life is a a especially for athletics. It's a good product. We need a good product on the screen. If it's exciting to watch, y'all, we watch boring movies. We watch great movies. We watch boring series. We watch great series. And if we don't like it, we just don't like it. But now, you pulling up from the logo, y'all talking noise. Mm-hmm. Somebody punched somebody, didn't in the playoffs. Didn't, didn't they fight in the, in the, in the, in the line? Yeah, in, in, the, uh, line. in the handshake. I think it was Texas. Yo, and keep, somebody, sla- yeah. keep slapping people. And I'm not, I'm not promoting violence at all. But I, I am. Need, but I need to see, <laughs> I need to see, <laughs> I I need to see the energy. In. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. I'm, I'm about to watch it now. And so, and so now. Hey, bro, look. When I saw, when I, saw I believe, uh, LSU was playing Alabama. And Andrew Reese's uh, shoe came off. And she still blocked the shot and stared the girl down. I was like. Hey yo, I literally went to the next game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went to their next home game. Right. Like I was like, hey yo, I gotta go see this. Yep. I gotta go see. I gotta go see yeah. if she really gangs. I was like, hey, she really gangster like that, dog. Right, right. Like and and look, <laughs> she 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 does all she does all the histrionics around it. Hey, Angela hoop. Yeah. When I tell you, she dominate the post. Straight can hoop, yeah, and and she's not just a, a, a typical big because she only like six three. She's she right, 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 like right, six right, six, right, six right, five, right, six six. Right, she really right. only like six three, so she really like a power forward. Right, right. she really almost like a, she gonna her game probably gonna grow into a, a stretch four. Yeah, because right. I heard the day on a, a interview, she, her favorite player is Kevin Durant. Yeah, she said mm-hmm. the day, right, so. Right. I can see the similarities in the game from mm-hmm. the way she plays. Mm-hmm. You know, she just she just hyped up a little more on that intensity mm-hmm. level with the defense, man. Just 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 great team captains, man. And and I, I'm loving it. I'm loving the space that they in right now, man. And I, I, congratulations to them. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, she about to pull that KD energy off. I know they got a little beef for what well, they don't have beef, but she better go get in the gym with whoever Caitlyn training with was shooting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's right. yeah. gonna pull that. But if she could do it, she would, she'd be a killer. She would, she would. She'd be a killer. I'm just like I'm. I'm always, I'm looking forward to their season next year already. Yeah. Like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they're bringing in the number one recruiting class. Like I'm looking forward to it right now. The girl Obviously, from Louisiana, right? Yeah. yeah. Girl from Louisiana. Point guard. Yep. Cold. Yeah. Hey, shout out to the coach and the recruiting. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Just to even even putting this team together. Mm-hmm. I mean, that, that's huge. This, this is the new age. Bro, that's, this is, that's nine new people. Man, come on, man. This, nine this, brand new people on the team. <laughs> yeah, bro. This, and you pulled it together and got a national sh- a natty out of it. And, and, and won it, right. Won it. First time, first <laughs> time it. ever for, for that college. Scored 100 points in the championship. Mo- most ever. 100. <laughs> 102. Bro. 102 points in the championship. Hey, it's, it's, it's a Drop new a free agency. Right. right. Broke the clock on them. It's a new college free agency, man. Like, and, like, and, 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 and as much as people give, try to knock us for what we stand for, NIL actually created that it team, created, man. It created, yes, it created, created for a quarter NIL, man. Shout out to Gordon, man. We got a Gordon member on the stage with us right now. You know what I'm like, saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> The G team in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Be on the lookout. Shout out DBF, man. Yeah. <laughs> they, um... Nah, but but yeah, looking looking forward to the next year, bro. Yeah, yeah. I am too, yeah. man. And it's more so too. Like I'm gonna kind of just do like a segue or just a side note because mm. like over over the last couple of days, I've been thinking a lot about what's been going on with Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark mm. and the people just you know talking about stuff on Twitter, and so. In some form of fashion, we've all been in, in a in a locker room, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I've I've been in a high school locker room, been in a college locker room, mm-hmm. and been in a professional locker room. And when we see somebody like Caitlin Clark hooping like that, the first thing that comes to our minds is like, man, that is a bad white girl, mm-hmm. right? Right? Huh? But as a society, mm-hmm. when can we get to the point when we just say, man, she can hoop, right? The reason I say that is because, like, <laughs> like football in general, whether whether it's going on like the racial racial tension and all that stuff, mm-hmm. like a football locker room in general is maybe may one of the purest forms of just humanity that you can ever be a part of. Right. And I generally mean that. Not saying you're not gonna have discrepancies. Not saying you can have arguments. Right. But I can remember just being in a locker room, and. Craig Stelz was was a, was a strong safety. Mm-hmm. He was a white strong safety. Yes, right. he was. From which New is, Orleans. Which is, from New which Orleans. is not customary. It's not customary. <laughs> it's not customary. <laughs> right. But don't you know, like, my, my all my four years, nobody ever said, man, Craig, a bad white boy. <laughs> right. Nobody ever said that. Right. Like, now, we did. Watch we it. did. We did. Fans. <laughs> which which wish, says a lot. Right, right. I, 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 wish, I wish people need to, if you, if you can have a, a camera lens inside of a locker room to see what really goes on. Hmm. It would really change a lot of people, people's perspective mm-hmm. on what's going on. Because we never said that. It was like, if you come across the middle, Craig going to knock your head off. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Jacob Hester, yeah. from outside, right? Mm-hmm. It's the great white hope. Mm-hmm. Right? In the locker room, we never said, that's a bad white boy running back. Mm-hmm. We knew he was dependable. We knew he was tough. Right. And so I think everything that, that's going on in, in society, um, even with the situation with Angel Reese, like people don't like her antics because she's being stereotyped. For right. you know, right. all kind of reasons. Right. And instead of looking at people for just who they are, like like their name and their character, right. and like that's the issue. Name, image, mm-hmm. like yeah. So that, that's the issue with mm-hmm. the whole thing with with Caitlin Clark, and and, and so now it's like uh, all white team going against all, all black, black team. team. Uh-huh. But you gotta you gotta see beyond that because those, those girls on the Iowa team they're hoopers. They're hoopers. And so that's where it, and it was more than just Caitlin. Yes. Like they got they, mm-hmm. that, that, big, that, that big girl right. on there was was hooping. Nice, bro. That's what, that's she what it, that's, no, she, she don't. That's what the issue comes in because now you see because your because your heart your heart ain't right. Yeah. And so now you see white versus black. Yep. Okay. Yep. And now you have you have somebody in the White House who feels sorry for. <laughs> the white girl. But what, what, what house white, it is? Somebody in the white house. <laughs> so, the white somebody girl. in the white house. Wow. Right. That's, and, a, and feels, that's feels a green sorry. line, it's, it's, Yeah. Instead of just seeing, <laughs> instead of just seeing them as basketball players, as well, hoopers. You, you know, know what I mean? You know what I think? I think the, the statement that you're making and even hearing them have the conversation. We know athletes have more of a platform now to talk about how they feel. That that hearing that because I, I haven't been in that that kind of locker room. I'm for for from college. I've been in the high school locker room. Middle school, high school, that's it. <laughs> so from college on up to, you know, pros, I'm a spectator. I'm a fan. I'm a, I'm a watcher from the outside. So I have an opinion from the outside. I think uh, two things I feel, and I'm going to say them real quick, and I'm going to pass it on. One is I think that it is like that in the locker room. I can see it now hearing you explain it, because I never heard that talked about since now. But I can see it that because y'all are valuing a different thing. Mm-hmm. You're valuing... We gotta get out and get it. If we gotta get these yards, we gotta get it. We gotta get these tackles, we gotta get it. I don't care if you're blue, black, <laughs> yellow, make the hit, <laughs> make the tackle. Get the yards. You see what I'm saying? That's true. But the second thing I'm gonna say is this. I, and the first person I thought about was Christian McCaffrey. 
Mm-hmm. Right? Dog. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Dog, right? But give me, give me, give me five more. Show me five more dogs at that spot in that color. You see what I'm saying? Right. And I think that's another thing too. Mm-hmm. You, 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 you have those, you have those, those dichotomies of thought because, you know, uh, stilts. We we all watch bad, 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 bad white boy. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, but mm-hmm. name me four more. Name me five more. Right. You see what I'm saying? And I think that's one of the things that kind of that kind of does it. I mean, I actually had this conversation with, with a, a young lady that I trained really? in high school. <laughs> she's a young white girl, but right now she's the third fastest sprinter in the state at 200 meters. She's the second fastest sprinter in the state at 100 meters. Wow. And she was like, oh, look, she, she's from North Shore. From, she's from North Shore. I ain't going to say where she's from. She's <laughs> from, from North Shore, right? And she makes the comment after... Two meets ago, she, we were talking after the meeting and everything. I was talking to her and her dad. <clears throat> she makes a comment. She was like, man, I don't know how I should take this. And she, I was like, what happened? It, it was, and she was like, well, I was getting, you know, lined up. And I could hear so like some of the boys behind us. And they was uh, like, they were saying, that, hey, man, that's a bad white girl right there. Mm. Right? Mm. And she was like, I don't know how I should take I was like. From us, I mean, I, you know, I'm explaining to. I'm like, from mm-hmm. us, that's a term of endearment. Right, that means, right, right. that means, because we don't usually yeah, we don't see, see y'all in the yeah. sprints. Well, look, well, look around, look <laughs> right? around, like look around, look, look to look your left, look, look to your right. <laughs> right. You had three to your left, and you had five to your, right. you had four mm-hmm. to your right. Right. Ain't none of them look like you. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Not in that heat. You was in the final heat right. of, the, yeah. of, of the girls of the girls hundred. Right. And the girls two hundred, and you won both of them. Right. Yeah. Like and walked both of them, like. That means that that means like, like you are accepted because you're doing something that we don't usually see y'all right around here, right? right, <laughs> right? right, right, right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, um, and she was like, okay, you know, she was like, I get that, but I then I told her I was like, now nah, look, you'll know when it's disrespectful, right? right, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. And and honestly, you know, if you keep going like you're going, it's coming. You'll run across somebody that's going to test yeah, you coming. like that, right? Right, because they're trying to get in your head. They're gonna try to get in your head. They're right. trying to mess with your performance, right? right, right. right? And but you'll know the difference. And I told her, I was like, look, you know, this, this, and this. They call you that, and hey, nah, you need to back off, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So, <laughs> like when you, so like you know, when you see a Caitlin, like Caitlin Clark, or like a Diana Taurasi, Sue Bird. That's where I was going. You know what I'm saying? Like. No, like, yo, they hoopers, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. They yeah. flat out hoopers, yeah. <laughs> right? They were buckets, man. Like, you know, you, I can't, you can't hold a candle to them on on the floor, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you cannot hold a candle to them, man. Like, you got they they can flat out. They know what they're doing on the court. They smart. Yep. They they you know they know how to get off the rock. They know how to you know run plays. They know how to play defense. Like these are Hall of Famers. Yep. Yep. On yep. the basketball court. Uh, I think what a lot of it is is like in this country because we were having this conversation before the game. Like we was having this conversation, and we was talking about like like what happened to like white American men in the NBA. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you don't see too many of them. They usually they all from Europe right now. Right, it's true. Right, yeah. like JJ Redick was probably like one of the last. <laughs> Last bastions of hope, <laughs> mm-hmm. right, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. You don't really see a, so like it's almost like at some kind of part of the AAU level, high school level, they kind of just let it go. They go do something else, right? Because you don't you see less of them in a lot less of them in college. And you barely see any American American white guys in you know in the pros, right? But the women's college game ain't like that. <laughs> no, clearly, clearly, <laughs> the white girls out there playing, dog. Yeah. It, it's, it, it's, I got a question. I got a question. Do you think you because you sparking this in my mind now? We always talk about '90s basketball, '80s basketball, '90s basketball. Right. We talk about you know '90s football. You know, and then how th- how things have changed, right? But w- one of the things we always say about the NBA and players right now is that they probably would have ran cert- the, the the physical ability. And the skill level is way more advanced than it was in those days 
that are in the eighties and the nineties. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, y- y'all get what I'm saying. Yep. Yep. So I mean, even somebody like Giannis, bro, like what, that, that's that's that ridiculous. don't make no sense. Is it is it that is it that through the evolution of time that the that the the black athlete has just gotten that much better? Could it be that that he's gotten that much better that the gap is there? But and, the reason, in America, yeah. mm-hmm. in America, because once again, we, I mean, we train how we train. Luca's a dog because Luca's playing at 14 with grown mm-hmm. men. Yeah, he was playing in a pro you know, league, they, professional you, league. You can't even do that. Is, but his game is old man still. Yeah, yeah it still is. Still is. He's, he's never developed the new age in me. Mm-hmm. Right, like right, right, Jokic right. is an old school. He, that's right. the reason why yeah. he scores because right. nobody knows how to guard the old man. They don't. They don't. So it's kind of it's kind of go both ways. Right, 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 right. Because. The, all them old cats will still get buckets because Luca get buckets. Yes. Yes. So absolutely. it's not it's not like the the new era <laughs> right. would dominate right. the old era. Right. Like you know, cats always throwing out the jaw and stuff and right. all so, of that. So maybe that's it. Maybe 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 maybe. But we can start a camp. <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> but maybe maybe because of the lack of the physical attribute, we we, we know that already too. Mm. In a lot of instances, right? Maybe maybe there's a I, I hate to say it, but it's a different training mm-hmm. that, that needs to happen. Based on your ability to do whatever you do, we we seen we seen the white dudes being able to shoot. You just said JJ Reddick, mm-hmm. Kyle Carver. We I mean we mm-hmm. seen a Mike Miller. We we didn't seen him. Mm-hmm. Chandler Parsons got a big old contract mm-hmm. off of just that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So so we seen that, but it's like it's just a different it's a different evolution of game. And you know I said none of them are none of those guys. They're are they viable? Yeah, great they're not, they're NBA not, players. Right. Yes, but they are they are nowhere near like. A Jokic, a, right, a right, Dirk, right. Dirk Nowitzki, right, right. Uh, a Luca, a Luca. You, you can't project the future Hall of Fame. No, you sure can't. Right, you sure can't. Yeah, like, but that's what you can do with Kaitlyn, though. Right, you can do you can do that yeah. with her because her game is based off of Steph Curry. Like, so you're gonna have a whole generation of younger girls mm. who watch the NBA because they said they don't watch the WNBA. Right. They watch the NBA game, mm. and so. Um, you're gonna well, see a whole a generation of them who develop their game around a favorite NBA player. That says a lot, and so. The 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 controversy that Doug was speaking about earlier, mm-hmm. I kind of sat back and thought about it yesterday, and it, and it brought me to the Dallas Rossier teams, the UConn teams, and 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 the great coach that they have, Coach Gino. Mm-hmm. We didn't see anybody beat them. Mm-hmm. Well, and that's see, and that's so we, why that's why we didn't like women's basketball because we knew y'all knew for the last. It's been recently it's been changed, but y'all knew. It was going to be UConn mm-hmm. and whoever else. Tennessee. Tennessee, was, UConn. You know. Uh, Latek La was, yeah. was in there a lot of times. Stanford. Latek Stanford was in there a lot of times. Then as of late, it was a lot of South Carolina. It was a lot of South Carolina. But you, but you had about four. It was almost, it was like you had about four teams that you knew was going. Yeah, but you yeah, never yeah, thought yeah. no Iowa. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what, that's what happened. So Iowa became the new darlings, right. the media darlings. Uh-huh, they became uh-huh. the new UConn for this year right. that everybody championed behind. Right, right or wrong, indifferent, whatever, however you want to feel, right. they were producing on the court. Right, right. And the product was really good. Uh-huh. So when you got all of that media push behind them, uh-huh. behind they star, behind her doing everything, the right. John Cena and right, all of right, that, right, right. telling people they too small. Dope. Right. Like, that's dope. Right. Like, right. do you? <laughs> like, get your shot off. Right. Like, this, shot this off. what you supposed do you? to do. Right. I'm fine with it. Like, yeah. I'm like, all the way fine with and it. You, and you can tell she played real AAU ball with 100%. some hoopers back 100%. in the day. 100%. 100%. And so, it, it was, that's the controversy of it. It's, they was the new UConn and they got beat. And they got beat. By a hood team. By a hood mm-hmm. team. They played Boosie, the mm-hmm. play Boosie in the locker room. They played Boosie in the locker room. They got Lil Wayne doing the intro. Right, 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 right. The head coach showing. doing the gritty. The head coach doing the gritty. <laughs> and she, and Two she, chains hollering and she at them on the FaceTime. Mm-hmm. And, and, and they, people can screw that with her making it about her right. mm-hmm. when she actually taking the pressure off the team. Absolutely. 100%. 100%. So now we're not talking about the team. People, people ain't talking about Angel Reese all year, but she broke a record for what? Double doubles? Yeah. Double double. 34. Yeah. yeah. Men and women. Crazy. But no, but, but you got you got cats talking about they never heard of her before. That's because right. you ain't do your research, man. That's on you. That's a that's a you problem. Do that's a you problem. You got to know who these people. Are. She was the number two player in the country coming out of high school. Right. right. Like it's not like this was some. And I don't. I don't know. She was I don't know number what, two overall. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't know what part of Maryland she from. Baltimore. Baltimore. Well, we already know what's up in Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore. Hey, her cousin. We, are, we her cousin already know. Just, her cousin just won a national championship at UConn, at UConn uh-huh. and her brother is on a starter for the Maryland uh, Terrapins. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. starts on the best. They come, she come from a basketball family. family. Basketball family. DMV though. They play. They and, hoop in the DMV. And and and, and the. <laughs> The way that she responds with the talking noise is Baltimore. You know anything Absolutely. about Baltimore? You'll spend any time in Baltimore. I spend a lot of time in Baltimore, <laughs> right? It's the hood. Like yeah. they, they, the Baltimore is not the whole thing, but it's like it's a lot of you know. It's be more. We we just yeah. know what's up. We ain't playing no games, so we coming out here. I don't know what y'all was doing, 
But I'm going to talk that noise, and I don't care who. And if you hear her interviews, I love it because that's the word she keep using. She's unapologetic. Yep. I love it. I love it, bro. I love it. I love the whole thing. She's a, she's a very pretty girl. Mm-hmm. I love the whole Bayou Barbie thing. I love mm-hmm. the, you know, she doing the lashes and all. I, mm-hmm. I love it. I love mm-hmm. it because because to me, and I'm about to segue, I'm about to ask you a question. To me, she's, um, when I first started hearing her talk about it, I was like, uh, y'all, y'all thinking a little bit too much of y'all. So, but then when, she, when I started thinking about it, she was like, yo, we really expanding the game of women's basketball. We really putting women's basketball on the map. And I mm-hmm. said, uh, I said, you know, like, hold on, you, you know, Simone Gus is out there in the crowd right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. such, such in the, like, like, before you start talking about what you're doing and putting it on the map, you know what I'm saying? And then I saw the 9.9, I was like, hmm. Maybe you don't put it on the map. So I got a question. You ready for this? And, and I think it's an awesome opportunity, but I'll throw it to y'all. I'll ask a question. I'll, I'll, I'm making a statement, but I'll ask it in a question. What, what Magic and Bird did for the NBA, because they played a lot against each other in college, mm-hmm. A lot of games in college, a lot of rivalry. They had the whole white and black thing going on, which is still polarizing, clearly. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> no, that was, that was intentional, though. That it was, was it, intentional about the media. No, it was. Mm-hmm. On, because, on, pur- on yeah. purpose. And that's why they were drafted in L.A. and Boston. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, so I get that. To get them. Yeah. But, but it makes... First of all, we all know... Uh, we know what, how Boston get down. We, we know, know how Boston. L.A. get down. <laughs> and, 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 and we do we do know that these are entertainment we see companies. We part two right now. Right. We see in part two right now. Yeah, we, right. We, we do know this entertainment companies. So we do know, you know, they had the joke going on Twitter talking about they writing the scripts for the football the NFL. So I thought in my head that I said, whoever writing this script need to capitalize on this. They need to, they need to capitalize because I think that I'm, I'm, and to see what y'all take, I think that them playing against each other again, they need to put themselves on the schedule twice next year. And if they get to the finals, that'd be crazy because if this, this will bring so much buzz to not only women's college basketball, but what they going to do next? They both going to the league. Mm-hmm. Uh, they can't go at the same time because I think uh, Angel said she got two more years. Yeah, she got two more. Before she go, Kayla yeah, oh, got one more gradu- year. Oh, she could graduate. So she said it depends on how how she got to be twenty two. Graduate, right, right, right. Yeah. But it, but if and they're gonna they're gonna they gonna speed her graduation. <laughs> they better. All <laughs> the intercessor classes at LSU. Right. They better. Yeah. Can you imagine they both go both going to be rookies in the WNBA? What that look like? Yeah. Who would, who would you draft? One or two? I was about to ask who you gonna be your team around. Who would you be yeah. your team around? Angel Man, or Kayla? I'm going Kaylin. 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 I'm going Kaylin. Kaylin. Shout out to shout out to Angel. I love a hometown hero, all that stuff like that. But I, I, I don't know. That, I, that, I, 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 tra- I saw what Steph Curry did to a whole league. I would trade I would <laughs> trade the form to get both of them, though. Whoever I got on my yeah. team, all y'all up for the trade block. Right. I'm trying Everybody. to get both of them. Right. I'm um, trying to get both of them. I mean the way the way WNBA, I've watched a couple I've watched a few WNBA games. The way they play, it's not really it's it's still it's still designed right like their the way they play is still designed around Ball movement and if you got bigs, you probably it's, like college, yeah, right. it's, it's right now it's just like college because same they thing. because mm-hmm. they they drafting all they players out of the same systems. Yeah. So unless Caitlin come and break like totally break a WNBA system, I'm going with Angel. They need they, whoever whoever got the first pick or the second pick. They need to go ahead on high Mark Jackson. Go uh, high, go ahead on hire Mark Jackson saying, listen, and get two shooters back to back years like he did listen, with the Splash Brothers. Who's that girl that you kind of got hurt? Splash Paige, uh, uh, Paige Beckers. She kind of yeah, got she the same. She's a dog too. Yeah. yeah. No, she, she, she. <laughs> Paige Beckers. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> oh almost, I'm almost gonna say I'm talking big, but I'm almost gonna say the buzz that she, Caitlyn got the buzz that she had. Yep. That's, that was That's exactly what happened. Hurt, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying she did, she doesn't own, she didn't earn it because she hooping. We see the buckets going in. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that girl, a bu- Paige Bush Paige or something Beckers. like that. Is, is she coming out this year? No. Uh, no, she, she was injured again this year, so she going she probably isn't staying, staying at UPenn. And, and they staying in school because they say the NIL paying more than the WNBA. Absolutely. 100%. And the rules are different. Yep. And you can use a private jet. And you can't use it's against the CBA to use a private jet in the WNBA. So. Sound like... Never mind. Like why would like I'm about to say they need a new? I wouldn't. Person. Like why? why <laughs> like you know, <laughs> I know what you about to ask. Yeah. Like why? why well, because because all every owner doesn't want to purchase that or, money, or, that or are able to but purchase like, like, if purchase I'm, private. Hey, LeBron, private go by the league, dog. If I'm, just go, go by the league, bro. The league. Just by the whole league. If I'm Major Reese, why would I want to leave to go to the WNBA? Like, the price why, just went up. Yeah, why would I want to go? You get more love right now. You get more love. You like, get more right love now, right now. Like the the fact that I'm seeing them on Sports Center, the fact she was on Inside Edition, the fact that she you know mm-hmm. she did a a, a podcast early to, like today. Shout just, the man out! Shout the man oh, out! Oh, be Marshall, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm athlete, athlete, yeah. Right. Um, and the amount of buzz that they're hey, getting. We expect the same thing, B. 
<laughs> we want the shout out to the <laughs> <Shout laughs> Evergreen, yeah. And even like on on first take, mm-hmm. you know the first person they talked about today this morning mm-hmm. was Angel Reese. Yep. Two days in a row. Two days, two days in a row. Two days in a row. That's big. A, you know, a the show big, that biggest voice in sports. They, exactly. So they have a, they have an opportunity, and the way she was talking, I think she's gonna try to eat it all up, right? She's gonna try to get it, but they have an opportunity. The first call, I would I'm gonna let it breathe for a few days, but then you know the first call I'm making if I'm Angel Reese, I'm calling Caitlyn, mm-hmm. and I'm about to see how we can run this bag up mm-hmm. since they feel like this, and we see that this because if if it was the if it was the girl from UConn and and Caitlyn, it wouldn't have been a big deal. Mm. Cause two white girls, mm. but now you got this. We about to run this bag up. The, the business in in, in two thousand twenty three. Let's go talk about it. Everybody's friends. Let's be friends. We'll we'll, we'll slap each other on. Draymond and LeBron get into it all the time. Draymond is signed Draymond to is LeBron. Signed LeBron agency. I, I don't I don't I don't care about none of that. We, we gonna run the bag up. We can get angry. We know how to act. This is yeah. entertainment. Right. I would. That would be my next call. But listen, I don't know what they talking about. And that's the thing. We like, shoot a commercial together. What's up? Mm-hmm. We run the bag up. We can even go in the WNBA. Watch this. They build a certain buzz. They can go in the WNBA and ask what they want. And they can demand what they want because we live in an age now. 9.9 million viewers. <laughs> that's bigger than anything else besides a, 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 a professional game. That's true. You, you the, the numbers, when you get the numbers, it's like music. When they get the numbers, they'll give you any kind of deal you want. The, the NBA will start investing. This is the reason why. It's not that it's a... um. It's not that the the product is 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 terribly bad. It's just that you can't do the numbers. Yeah. You know why they you're can not here? doing the numbers? They can negotiate because now all they can say is look at our championship game in college, the viewers, and look at the WNBA finals championship game and look at the viewers. We don't even know who was playing. <laughs> exactly. You see what I'm saying? We don't even know. We didn't even watch the playoffs. We don't know when the playoffs was. Y'all get what I'm saying? Yeah. So so you can go in there and begin to leverage some things and be ambassadors for for the growth of the game. And I'd watch it, I, bro. You, you me tell you the truth. I would watch Kaylin Cart play every game she play. I would too. It 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 is it is it is, it is the it, it it is the. And I'm I'm not saying Kaylin over over Angel because what happens is, I, I know she she's a she's a big, so I know what she's gonna do. I did not see this girl, and then I saw her. I was like, man, okay, maybe she's a good shooter. Up, she was doing it. Off of a screen with somebody right there, it was like some NBA screens, and you falling and shooting, mm-hmm. kicking like it's stuff like that. I thought when when Steph Curry and Steph and Clay, they talking about Splash Brothers, I said nobody's going to be able to win an NBA championship shooting that many threes. We've never seen it before. Nobody's going to be able to do it, and they did it for <laughs> years in a row, <laughs> and they changed the game to now where everybody want to shoot threes. Right. Mm-hmm. So to to the point, like even coming to the WNBA. Like, if she stays healthy and just shooting like that, I've seen this story. You know what I'm saying? I've seen it. I've seen it somewhat. That, that girl, that little girl from Maryland can shoot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they got another girl on our team that can shoot like right. that. They got the little chick on Louisville that good ball. Yeah, That's what just, I'm saying. Yeah. Swag, swag said it. Swag said it. We was watching. University of Miami. Yeah. He said it or, don't make no sense. South Carolina. They got the twins over there, too. Yeah. Twins. Yeah. 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 South Carolina has trouble Cavern because the they couldn't twins. shoot. They can't shoot. The Cavern, the twins. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They had no shooting. LSU probably would have been in trouble too if that girl didn't go off in that first half. That's true. If she so, don't go off for the twenty whatever points she had, so it, it worked in LSU favor that they got in foul trouble. Yeah, that too. Because that too. Had, the shooters have to come off the, the bench. The shooter had to come off right, the bench. Right, right, right. And right. she was a starter all year. Yeah. So they just recently made that that sub. Like shout out to Kim Mulkey, man. I'm still laughing at uh, what's her name, Caitlin Clark. How she literally just weighed this girl off. On that, defense? That, that's something you do in the front yard. Yeah. 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 Playing play with your homeboy in them? Yeah. Like, yeah. Man, that's you what I'm you like. homecoming. Yeah. Hey, bro. No right. coming. <laughs> homecoming. And I want you to know it. Yeah. So just, you know, pull it up. I'm going to turn my bag to you. Yeah. Shoot it. I'm going to get the rebound. Shoot it. I want you to oh, shoot it. Ball bro. coming off. That's so disrespectful. Man, that's dope, though, man. I'm with oh, that, man. You're supposed, my, my that's thing, how you're supposed to do look, it. Look, look, you don't want me to talk no to you? Hit me in the mouth. Right. Make the shot. Make, make the shot. Make the shot. And you that's know what I'm saying? why she said today she has no problem with what Angel Reese did. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, because they know they know. See, that, and that's know. the thing. Everybody, everybody. See, like all the aim is in the wrong direction. Like everybody saying the, the Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. No, it's not Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. Thank you. It's Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark, and the media mm-hmm. because. Them two ain't had no problem with each other talking noise. <laughs> it wasn't that. It wasn't that. Like Alexis Morris didn't say they had a problem with them talking noise to South Carolina. Sure they just said it was disrespectful, and you're mm-hmm. not going to disrespect us like that. 
So, so what we? And then they went out and showed them I that they ain't gonna disrespect them like that. But what they didn't show is I don't know who sent it in the group. Well, Alexis Morris actually How, greeted yeah, her I sent her and yeah, hollered at her bro. before the game. I hollered at her before the game. She, she looked like, like a she fan. Was, she was, she, no, she said she <laughs> is she a was, fan. She said, she, she, she said she, when you see somebody hooping like this, bro, you got to shake their hand. Like that's, that's And that's she good. met her before the game and shook her hand. So, now, Alexis Morris appears to be, I'm not even going to, she, she appears she to be very gangster yeah, about her stuff. Like she appeared to be like straight up, you know, confident, under confident about what she could do. So- it's fine if you if you could hoop too, and I'm gonna come holler at you. Yeah, and Respect. let you know I'm guarding you all game. I'm game gonna see you for the game. next forty minutes, <laughs> right. and we are gonna see who the best <laughs> right. laid out. And, and then she and then she had a tactic. And then she and then she watch Iowa. And then she Iowa all next year, like you just said. And then she and then she ice grilled up in the middle of the game. They need they need some more players. So I think I think the media is making divisive. Yes, yeah, the media is making a race issue. Yes, it is not a race issue. No, it ain't the media. It ain't the media. It's the uh, what, 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 what's what we call called them a couple weeks ago? The casuals. It's yeah, the casuals. casuals. Yeah. Yeah. The casuals. Hold on, hold on. It's two. So now yeah. it's the casuals, the, yeah. which in turn makes the media, media want to yeah. have the conversation, Absolutely. Mm-hmm. right? Because, because the, the casuals they, watch the media, and the, <laughs> and the casual <laughs> and the casuals get paid. Casuals are buying the jerseys. Casuals yeah. are the casuals are doing that. You know what I'm saying? Which which makes me, and this is where we get evergreen on it because it it it, it talks about the. It, it makes me realize the market that media does. And the marketing that it does, it takes an, an issue that is not even an issue between Dante and Will mm-hmm. and make it something just because we love some buzz. Like we yeah, just yeah, right, we right, love yeah. drama, man. Like we love the the reason the reason I always say this is the illusion of competition. Like it's competition, but then like is it really when everybody got paid at the end of the game? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like right. it's, it's competition, but like is it is it really competition? You want to know the funniest, funniest part to me about this whole thing? It's like, had this been occurring somewhere else, some of the same people I know would have been on the other side of the argument mm-hmm. <laughs> or on the same side of the argument as some people that they know they don't agree with mm-hmm. <laughs> on, on most other issues. And I was sitting this there, I'm true. like, you know, I'm looking through. Twitter comments and I'm like, it's hilarious. Yeah. And Facebook, I'm like, oh, man. It, the only reason is because y'all from Baton Rouge. Right, 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 right. right, right. This like, is the, the truth. only reason we. Oh, that's the, the only truth. reason we arguing on the this, same this, side. This, right. this is the truth because you from. <laughs> hey, but I was telling you yesterday. That's it's, true. it's a lot of people from Baton Rouge I seen on the Iowa team side. They're mm, saying, oh really? Oh yes, yes. We was talking about that. That they they didn't they didn't they thought it was disrespectful what um Miss Reese did. <laughs> They thought it was disrespectful what uh, coach hitting the gritty after the game and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, they, they thought that was just, they, they said they was rooting for Iowa to win the game because LSU did not come out for the national anthem like Iowa did. So we still having this national what is, this this national anthem discussion hey, in twenty twenty three. I, mean, hey, I love the, the national anthem stop playing or something. What happened? No, LSU like, just LSU just never comes out for the national anthem. But Iowa goes out every every game for the right, national anthem. Right. Whatever well, it is, it's a conversation. So that's so a lot of people right. from oh. from Baton Rouge was you. rooting for Iowa during the game you. online. Then then I then, then I heard old girl say and then they just fade away when the when the buzzer go off the final buzzer. No, goes off. they didn't. They didn't fade. They didn't fade away this time because of the actions that happened at the end of the uh, game. So you. now they became more vocal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, interesting. Then I, then I like how old girl said they yeah. told they told uh, uh, first lady, "Nah, we good." Yeah, nah, we good. Yeah, yeah Matt. Look, I, I want to like say the same though. thing. Hey, bro, nah, we straight. What you, what you mean? Room after? Nah, I mean, before. before nah, nah, we, we, we straight. What you mean, you? Your, your, your husband ain't even put us in the bracket. That, <laughs> we good. What yeah. you mean you inviting both teams to the White House? Is, that's uh, another. That's another thing too. But that's why. But see, but that was that was exposure. That was a reaction. So that was that was a reaction from the first lady because right. she felt like they disrespected her at the beginning of the game. Mm. So her reaction was, "Oh, okay, y'all could come to the White House, but talk uh, the other team could come too. Iowa could come too." Mm. That was a reaction to the disrespect. But the disrespect started with her husband not putting them in the bracket. Now, now let, let me, but, but see, we're gonna we're gonna miss that. We're gonna miss that about her husband not putting the bracket because it's gonna go black and white. It's not even gonna be nothing about disrespect for the team. It's gonna go strictly black and white, which is what I was texting about today. And I don't want to get too too far into it's gonna be a political. It's gonna be a political pod. Mm-hmm. But this is why I see the media doing certain things too, because now election time coming up. You know what I'm saying? What 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 are you, what are you gonna what are you gonna do now? Like kids going to jail. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a lot of stuff, and <laughs> they're gonna. I'm gonna tell you what they're gonna do. They're gonna play on that. They're gonna eat this up with Joe Biden. 
you know, with, with, I, I'm supposed he's going to run again. I don't know. But but they're going to eat that up with the black women and the white women. They're going to eat it up. And it's a crazy thing because they're democratic, which is most black people vote Kamala and all that. Like, it's about to be, you that's know who, what I'm saying? That's who, that's, yeah, I don't want to get political, but that's yeah, who should run. The, if, the, if, if she run this, she's going to get all the that's votes. That's going to be... Uh, I don't... Look. I just think they're going to play on it. I, I love the way that, you know, everybody got this... Uh, I don't know. I, I guess the the Jordan mentality of even if an enemy ain't there, I'm creating one <laughs> right, 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 that right, I'm gonna right. go defeat, <laughs> right? right, 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 right. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, um, you know what I'm saying? Because honestly, if we if we truly being totally 100 percent honest, like Angel and them, Angel and Alexis, and and. They use energy that wouldn't even direct that at them to fuel them. No, hundred <laughs> percent. Because this, whatever I, happened in the South Carolina game ain't got nothing to do with y'all. <laughs> they beat y'all. <laughs> they beat they y'all. Beat y'all. Like, and, y'all they beat y'all in the SEC in yeah, the SEC is. championship. <laughs> they beat y'all. That's y'all sisters, not us. <laughs> and that ain't, that game ain't had nothing to do with y'all. Nothing at all. But y'all, you. But you, hey, you. If that would hyped you up to go out there and shoot seventy percent in the first half from three. Go for it. Use it. Listen, I don't care. Listen, I love it. Let me, let, me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about, about that. Mm-hmm. That's not energy that they're coming up with. That's not energy they're coming up with. Mm-hmm. They got that lady who wears an exotic outfit. <laughs> that's that's, that's fueling. That's, that's what the energy is coming from. Like, you're like great coaches, yeah. they're going to find any, anything, anything <laughs> to motivate and push their team. Yeah, absolutely. Like, it, it. it wouldn't surprise me. If after that game uh, against South Carolina, Iowa, Kim Moore could walk to the locker room or the hotel and say, you know, you see how they disrespecting, you know, your fellow uh, sisters in the SEC? Yeah. If they do that to them, then that, that's, how, that's how they feel. That's how they feel about, about y'all. you. Yep. Cause, cause y'all no, and now you're going to sleep on it. Now and you're don't, sleep yeah. on it. Oh, yeah. And, and don't sleep that she probably didn't make them know. Absolutely. We already know. What they bench look like versus uh, what our yeah. bench look 100%, like, hundred percent, hundred percent. And see, and see what I, what I saw was today, and I'm I'm gonna call it smart right now for the sake of branding. When I listened to the interview she had with with Iron Athlete, mm-hmm. I heard her saying so many different things that in my mind I was like, mm, it's not that big deal for my people, for people that look like me, mm-hmm. and and I get it, but it felt a little over the top, but but I loved it. Because if y'all gonna give me this moment, I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride with whatever the thing is that's gonna make that's gonna make the biggest deal because because the brand is on the line. Mm-hmm. Then at the end, she's talking about the brand. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like I don't, I don't, I don't. Once again, there was no issue between the girls Mm-mm. at all. The only people had issue was the people talking about it after somebody threw a tweet out, which some and the, and the dude that threw the tweet out too. Oh no, they had a couple. Of them. Yeah, but, a but, of them. but 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 some of the main ones that we that threw the tweet out what what what. Dave Portnoy. Hey, Keith Oldman. Who who who, 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 who Dave Portnoy is? Barstool Sports. All right, who who Oldman is? Oldman is used to be a uh, sports center. Okay, okay. So, so I'm saying it, it wasn't us. It wasn't some. Uh, uh, I'm not even calling us that, but it wasn't a casual right. that mm-hmm. made it pop off. It was Barstool. He's trying to get pub. Exactly. I'm not saying he didn't feel like that. I'm not saying whatever. But it's like they throw it out in the air to create something because we got something to talk about now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Look, look it's, it's, it's the new he marketing. Did, he, did yeah. inter- he did an interview after yeah. it, too. It's, a new, about it's that. a new marketing. Then, yeah. then Gilly and then so come on talking about we calling you out and everything. Like, it's the new marketing, bro. So, what's this? Right. I'm, I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you brought, brought that up because now when he said it, right? And so you just bought it. I was like, man, why? You know, you why you? Say, I like, you know, you started bar stools in a, in a whole different manner, right? And it, it turned turned to something. But you just bought it up. Did he really feel? Does he really feel like that, or is it, 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 it is it more so like now people talking about it? Yeah, it don't matter if he it feel don't. like that or not because he eating off of it now. He making so he, <laughs> them click that click rate went back up. So sure now did. all them subscribers went back up. And, so and, now everybody and, tuning on. into everything num- he do. Numbers don't have no color. That's Mm-mm. true. Analytics don't have a color. No, besides somebody saying nigga, right. mm-hmm. <laughs> from you know what I'm saying, or, or, or doing something that's like super ultra derogatory that you just can't come back from, they know what those lines are. They, they These people have sensitivity training. Do y'all realize <laughs> these, these multi-billion dollar companies have people on staff to tell them, yo, you don't need to say that. Yo, you can't say this. They have sensitivity training. And not, and not everybody listens, I understand. 
but they literally pay people millions of dollars to tell me where my line at. Tell me how far I can go. You get it? So when somebody takes a thing, and I hear I, Elon and bought Twitter, and I see him do it all the time now. He be saying random stuff off of the wall, and people just go crazy about it because that's what he wanted to happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So now for him to for him to throw that out, you know, I don't know how the man feel for real, and it could be it could be that it, it, it might very well possibly be a high percentage of that. But regardless of whether it's that or not, he getting what he wanted. He got it. That's true. Even with the sensitivity training. So Wallow and Gilly had it. Mm-hmm. But they still let them go fall uh-huh. because it's still bringing the numbers. Uh-huh. It don't matter. Like, so your HR department is only your HR department. Right. There's no governing body over HR departments. There's no governing body over none of this stuff. You can do whatever you want. As long as you bringing the money in, we're going to let you keep on doing it. What you yeah. want to say, Dante? What yeah, you want to say? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it, but I'm trying to let it go. <laughs> I mean, so I watched the I watched the the, the thing you saying with Gilly and them, right? And they they you know they they mentioned that they're in partnership. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, a couple of y'all up here are married, right? Yep. And hold on, answer that man. Answer that. Answer yes, that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm hoping. Hey, girl. Hoping he, hey, girl. I'm like, hey, girl. I, I gave a long pause. I'm like, yeah, man, gonna answer. Yeah, we, we, I'm still getting used to it, bro. I'm still getting used to it. I, I, I gotta wake up sometime. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, we've had y'all. I'm sure y'all have probably experienced situations where your partner call you out, and you probably call them out. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. Yeah. Right. That's the kind I'm married. That's why you're in a partnership with. <laughs> I mean, do we feel that they called Portnoy out like for real, for real? For <laughs> what versus versus from no, what no. from from what he from <laughs> no, what he no. tweeted? I okay. watched it. I no. watched. It. I watched, it. I watched it. I was okay. like, okay. okay, y'all gotta say that because y'all black. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And because y'all y'all want Angel Reese to come on y'all show. Oh, it took that, a while we, for them to say that too. It, it did. I, I, they had I, to formulate that. Even if you, even if you, first of all, you see Gilly <laughs> in the background, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you see Wallow is the talker. Wallow is the like, one. Man, do we really want to say this? Yeah. So so I even said, but. How how much calling out can you really do? Mm-hmm. It's like I feel like that about them people when they be talking about like the owners of the teams. Mm-hmm. Like we gonna hold them accountable. How? <laughs> <laughs> you know you know what I'm saying? And I get it, but it's like you just had to say that. And I wouldn't be surprised, Dave. Dave, you our boy. You ever heard they say that? They did, mm-hmm. You know we mess with you. You know what I'm saying? That's what mm-hmm. I'm saying. They and, called. They but called how him, you gonna say that after they what call, he? Because they, they called him before he did it. Yeah. They, they and that's talk, what I'm saying. They oh, told. They, they told yeah. them to do that. They told them to do that. They talked to him before they did it. They told. Look, and that's business. Look, look, ain't nothing look, wrong look, with look, that. Look, that's look, on look, them. Look. Look. Nothing wrong with that. Million dollar worth of game. As much as they say they only own it 100 percent, everything they say. Yeah, but it's a product. You don't have a platform on your own. You can do it. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, you decide to make a business deal because you realize mm-hmm. that the partnership could probably bring in more than you could have done if you're bootstrapping on your own. Cool. It's great business. But right? here's the thing. You knew who you was getting in bed with before you got in bed no, with. No, but see, I don't think they care. That's, that's exactly. The, that's the, they, so, they do not so, care. So you don't need to come out and say nothing right now. No, but they got to. Here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Here's why. I agree. With, fans. I agree with you from a true standpoint. Yeah. But from 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 what happens is Dave says, hey, y'all say something because y'all going to get flack. For not saying something. Now we may be making all this up, okay? But I'm. But, 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 but it could be 100 right. right, right? But but if I had a product, if if we had a product, you have a product. Uh, we 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 fix up the things that we have. It's our product that we're presenting. So if 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 men that were the game is a product that's producing for me, as a network, right? Mm-hmm. Then I want I need them to make. It. Even if I don't get along with them, I need them to make it. I've seen I've seen owners. Yeah. Of, of teams, I've seen managers of labels or whatever that don't get along with the people. They can't stand them, mm-hmm. but they bringing in money. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna do my best to make sure that you make it mm-hmm. because you're making it for me. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's when it it go it goes out the door. And I think I think all that stuff, man. I think I don't believe nothing they said. Or, or, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no, no, no. I I believe I believe I believe they said it because I heard it. I believe I believe that they believe what they say. I, I'm not trying to say it right. I believe that there's some sentiment there, but I believe had it not why, been why, why you think that? 
Did they did they say her name correctly? <laughs> they, they did. That's what I'm saying. They didn't call her Angela. They called it called Angela Reese. Could they not have taken it down and redid it? They could have. Bingo. All of this is made up, man. Thank it's you. All made up. I, it's, all, it's all, it's all made up. I, they agree. Know it. I agree. If you can't get the girl name right, oh, then son. and you gonna tell me nobody? You gonna tell me? Them, you gonna tell me how much you how much you how much y'all respect the, respect the name? Don't even know her name. <laughs> yeah, I was trying. Yeah. I, I, I think I want. <laughs> right, right, right. You were fishing, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah you were fishing. <laughs> I think I think I, I want to jump back to what we were talking about. Well, how they talking about it was classless, and and whatever. I think that women's basketball is dealing with what. Uh, NFL football and college football dealt with that got overrun. Remember, they didn't want them to po- they didn't want them to dance in the end zone. Mm-hmm. They yep. tried to make the rule for it, yep. and and so they was like, "Well, I'm just gonna pay. I'm just gonna put money on the side so I can pay these fines because this is what we doing." Yeah. Same thing with same thing. I mean, we see the gritty right now. All mm-hmm. the, everybody's doing the gritty. All the little kids mm-hmm. they're doing the gritty video because because of how popular it got, right? Mm-hmm. And I think that it just it, I think two things. I think it overrun overran the good old boy system that was trying to act like they were squeaky clean. And trying to act, or not even squeak clean, but just trying to act a certain way. Yeah, it overran no, them, you, and you it, said it, it right. And, right, right, and it and it boosted the bottom line. You said it. We right. wanted to see that boy get in the end zone, so he scored. Mm-hmm. You know, so we we wanted to see that. Pulling out the cell phone, bingo. We 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 loved it. We we it's entertainment. What are we talking about? So so now I think that that because they hadn't had this, yeah, we about to see some stuff. We this this nine this ten million views. Mm-hmm. Is about to create some stuff that we have never seen. I'm excited to see it. I just hope they keep keep recruiting. I keep I hope young girls keep hooping, keep getting better and better, and keep going to college and playing ball. I hope I hope they keep that going. I hope they keep some shooters in. I hope that keeps going because what happens is we're 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 modern day seeing an old guard mm-hmm. being overrun. Tell me what y'all think about this, man. Um, I, I sit back and I'm watching it. The first thing that popped up in my head was identity crisis. Mm. Um, not for as a person, for as what they believe women's basketball should be. Mm. So what happened Thank was you. we we You're lived right. in a we lived in a, a COVID society mm-hmm. where everything was shut down. Nobody went out to games. Nobody turned on the TV to watch them. Right. We were, we was watching Michael Jordan documentaries. Then we weren't watching no so no no women's basketball. So was like um. So I think I think they dealt with an identity crisis in those three years during COVID, right? And so then remember when everybody had the bubble, she hinted at it um, today on the interview, that their conditions were so much worse than the men's conditions. 100%. They didn't have food. They didn't have um, the workout facilities. They didn't have any of that. So now that identity crisis, what has happened up was- until, Up until last year, they couldn't even use the moniker Final Four. It was just called the NCAA tur- Women's ch- Tournament. Yep. It wasn't even called the Final Four. Up until up until I believe last year or the year before. That's crazy. They that wouldn't make sense. Everybody thought it was the Final Four. And the NCAA and just let us think that right. it was the Final Four. But it wasn't. It never was called the Final Four. So how, how they dealt with that identity <laughs> crisis in that, that three-year span has sped this up, right? Yep. But also to that, that's the first point I wanted to ask y'all about. But also to that, who fed the rest of that money in there? Mm. You don't go from 900,000 followers, uh, viewers, to 9 million without somebody dumping a lot of money into a product. Mm-hmm. Who dumped all that money into that product this year? Mm. Was it Disney? Mm. Because... We we know men lie, women lie, mm-hmm. numbers, numbers don't. Numbers don't lie. <laughs> so somebody had to advertise that to get it to the nine million. It wasn't just Caitlyn them. Right. It wasn't nobody even the president didn't even think um LSU yes, she was, was in the out, tournament. Was, <laughs> right, 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 right. So it's not it's not like people was tuning in for South Carolina to go back to back. Right. Like right. they hate South Carolina. Right, 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 right. right. So who dumped all that money because into it? I, I would say this: you made a great point because even this is the first time I've ever seen them promote. The the women's final four. I promote the women's NCAA tournament. I never seen them promote it this much. I mean, it was it was like neck and neck with with the men's tournament mm-hmm. on how much promotion and how much airtime they was getting. And so from a consumer standpoint, I'm watching it. I'm like, okay, I'm getting kind of hyped up, like because I, I I never I've never watched a women's fi- final four mm-hmm. at all. Never I, watched I, it. I, I feel like I feel like it was. I feel like the and this is the first. This is probably the first time I've seen it. I've seen the media shift the narrative of the consumer's mind. I've seen media do it. You know, right now the big thing, everybody's talking a lot of interviews in the music industry that hit records ain't really hit records. It's not because the records so dope because they paying for them. Mm-hmm. You got to pay like like like. So some of us knew that when we researched Dante over the mm-hmm. years mm-hmm. in the background, but for the most part, people thought that they really liked these songs. 
but they didn't know that they playing them a million times on the radio, and you don't even know you're getting programmed. So I've seen it happen like that. The mo- the money programs the mind, right? Mm-hmm. And I and I've seen some. I've seen people. I've seen the media or the marketing have to catch up with something that took off that they didn't expect. Catch up. Soldier Boy right. was like that. Yeah. Like like it's something somebody did, and it's like they got to catch up with it. So now they trying to figure it out, and now they got all the leverage. I've seen both ways, but this is the first time. Just just. Personally, me. I'm not talking about nobody else. Personally, me. That I sat in the house and I didn't watch women's basketball. And I'm talking about halfway through the season, early on through the season. I wasn't watching it because they had promoted it. You know, some of it was because of LSU because we hometown. But I didn't watch it because they were promoting to me, making me feel like something hype was happening. Mm. I was kind of watching it and I was like, wait, hold up, something going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, hold up. And then I'm watching and and my my personal. Right, excitement for what was going on grew mm-hmm. as gotcha. the pub went. You get what I'm saying? And so it, I don't know if that's anybody else's experience, but for me, I, at the beginning of the season, I didn't know when the girls' basketball season started, none of that stuff. I was the same place I was. Mm-hmm. But somewhere along the line, I turned on some games and I watched. I said, hold up. You know what I'm saying? And I saw different teams. And that's another thing, too. We're talking about NIL mm-hmm. because we saw different teams. Just like we saw in men's college basketball this year, which didn't work out in their favor too well. They need to bring Kentucky, Kansas, yeah. Duke, everybody back. Right? I mean, it was all there. They just all no, lost. We, they, need, they, need, <laughs> they need to load them up with NIL. They need to load them up with NIL because right. that's the only way we're watching, right? But but we saw a change where it wasn't just the same old team. So, you know, it, it wasn't just UConn was in there, but you didn't think UConn was going to run over everybody. You know what I'm saying? So you didn't. You just didn't think it, and then the momentum starts building. Like, yo, hold on, what's going on? And the next thing you know, the NCAA tournament, and I'm watching the boys right here, and I'm watching the girls' game, and I'm turning off the boy game to watch the girls' game, right, right. and they all they all on 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 on. I use YouTube TV. They all on mm-hmm. the, mm-hmm. the pub, but they all on the, on the thing, right? Yeah. Then it my my interest grew along with the pub. You know what I'm saying? So if it, to me, my perspective, it felt like. These companies got with it real quick. Yeah. And they say, hold up, we got something here. Something is peaking. And it may have been, you know, you know, investment is like that. Y'all know the investment is like that. You throw the money in, you may win, you may not win. You know what I'm saying? But and I think they was like, well, mm, we need to dump. Well, I mean, they I mean, they they got access to I mean, they have access to Twitter and Instagram and everything else, yep. just like we do. Yep. But they can they know they can capitalize off of it. They in a position where they can capitalize off of it. True. Quick. So yeah. they they see how many times Angel Reese is hashtagged and and tweeted about. Mm-hmm. On they the got internet. the analytics. They got the analytics on the backside. Yep. And so when you got the analytics on the backside, you can predict the future. Which is the point for social media. Mm-hmm. So that, that's the whole point of having right. social media. So that's you can predict the future, so you can see. Okay, well, she getting ready to pop. So then they really like that's where that's where that's when you start seeing her a bit more on the ESPN. You start seeing a you know a little, little bit more LSU on the ESPN. Now when the tournament hit, all right, ESPN, as long as you take care of business, we gonna take care of y'all. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> I, I got I got one question I would have asked her if I was Brandon Marshall, and I seen this debate um, during the game online because I'm watching the game and I'm online like this. Uh, I might ask y'all real quick. It's, it's 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 kind of out there, but this was the debate on Twitter. Mm. Bayou Barbie, mm. right? That's her that's her nickname. Mm. Mattel, the doll, or Nicki Minaj? Go. Wait, wait, what? You know, Nicki Minaj is the Barbie. Right. That's right. her. That's her moniker. Yeah. So did she model that after the doll or Nicki Minaj? Because they say she picked up so many followers because of Nicki Minaj fans then got behind her. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. Nicki Minaj, her, her fan group is called mm-hmm. the Barbs or something like that. Barbs, right. the Barbs, yeah. So, uh, what, what would you think? I, I wish Brandon would have asked her that my, because then she could have immediately got the NIL deal from Mattel. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. You see what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. I mean, I, I, I think, I mean, I think she just, I think she coined that person herself because I don't know how Nicki Minaj hasn't been really relevant. She's still top seller. Nicki Minaj, and they still following her. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. Nicki, Nicki would probably pack up, pack up. Right now, right now, no, she, she still she do drop down. No more. I, well, I, I don't know. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she, she still popping. Yeah, it ain't popping like what like we before, thought. Like before, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like, like, like. Yeah, but she still young, young money. These, yeah. no, I don't know. But her fan base. I think, I think, M, 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 I think, I think for for Angel's age group right now, I think her influence was. More, it's more Barbie from Nicki Minaj. Mm-hmm. 
Because that's what Bar- they were saying online. Because Barbie wasn't wasn't catering to our girls. But I mean, the yeah, Mattel, they, exactly. They, like they, they you know how long it, how long it took to make a black and woman. and they still they still you know what I'm saying they still yeah. don't be you know what I'm saying uh, so right. So I, I think I think it's probably more so from that for her age group. Probably more so from that. But when I'm on the mic right here mm-hmm. with her. It's, it's Mattel. Mattel. It's Mattel. Right. That's right. what right. I was saying. Right. You talking all right. right. It was an easy setup for B Marsh today, man. Everybody can get I everybody get money. It. Everybody get money. LSU can get some money, put an LSU jersey on that Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> everybody get money, man. Had a little edge on the little Barbie. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to them with that edge control. <laughs> Had a little crown in them. A <laughs> little crown on them. That's what I'm saying, man. Do it, man. But I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for I'm always excited for progress. Mm-hmm. I'm always excited. I'm excited for women's basketball. I, um, uh, it's going to be interesting to see. And to watch and see what happens, and I guess it's more so for that than than just the game, because I, I this is this is something to live up to for next year. Yep, you know what I'm saying. And that's a I heard somebody say this the other day. Uh, they said the worst thing that can happen to a music artist is for their first song to be a hit. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. because because now yeah. you gotta live up to it. Now you gotta live up to it, and then they say the first thing the worst thing to do is have to chase, have to put a song out, and it becomes a hit, and then you gotta chase it because most hits. Uh, the way it's paid for them, you planned it all out. Now you put a song out that wasn't even your main song, and it hits. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to chase that mug now, and some people never catch up. So I'm I'm, I'm excited for the progress, but I'm interested to see what happens from here on out. Yep, yep. Live in the moment, man. Enjoy your championship. Live in the moment. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Number five for Kim Monkey, first one for LSU. Raise the banner, get the rings. She won one as an assistant too, right? And as a player, yeah, she yeah. Did. Hey, she, but she, she's a, she's an NIL champion. Hey, and I, I want him. <laughs> I, I don't want to hear no more talk about what the what the court gonna be named either, because they trying to name the court after, after people who ain't won nothing. Yeah. And now you got a coach that actually won something, so they need to dead all that. And just wait. And, and, just, and, and just wait and she, till and she, she retired. And she's a Louisiana native. Yeah. And so it's not like she not you know what I'm saying not from here. Damn it. You know what I'm saying? So, so we'll see. I got one question for. I know we've been talking about this a long time. I got a question. The Ravens offered OBJ a contract. What y'all talking about? He better know. take it. He, yeah, as far as OBJ, what are we talking from you, OBJ you side? Yeah. Oh, 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 what are we talking oh, about? I, I ain't worried about his side. He got to take whatever contract anybody giving him right now. Okay, all okay. right. Well, so, all right. So, well, we on the same page. About that? We know we've been talking about Lamar. Mm-hmm. Does that make Lamar say he want to play for the Ravens a little bit more or nah? No, no. Give me my no. money. Give me what yeah. I want. That's not going to no. make us. And then you don't know if OBJ going to be healthy. And we've had, we, you know, we've had arguments and, and discussions about why Lamar ain't got an agent. He should have an agent. And, and uh, look, Lamar said, give me 230 and one cent, <laughs> fully guaranteed. I ain't reporting. You don't need no agent because that's, that's what the man said he, he worth. And that's, that's what he rap. believe he worth. Then that's a wrap. You don't need nobody. Ain't no, nego- what's, what's there to negotiate? I mean, he don't seem to be moving from that point because he, true. he ain't in nobody camp right now. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I, I, L- 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 I, when is he going to find another team? Like, that's that's why we were saying he needed an agent. I understand. Because it's, yeah, hard, I get it's it. hard for him to I get maneuver it. in that space without an agent contacting these teams before the draft. I think he's going to get drafted, uh, traded on draft day. Like, um, the Ravens going to have to do something with him because they're going to need a quarterback. <laughs> Like, a, who, like no, who taking snaps? Like it, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, they, or they better plan to draft. You got the, a brand new kid from um, USC. You got a brand new offensive coordinator <laughs> with no quarterback. They, um, they might have hired him from to who? be fired, bro. USC. Yeah, the kid from USC. Next man, year, Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams. Oh, from the year. Yeah, yeah. They, they could be. They could be tanking for him. Like yeah. we, we don't know. Like right. the Falcons tanking right now. Like so, right, right, they could. Right, they right. could be tanking. I can't, um, I can't believe. I can't believe some of the stuff off the blanks are here. And I like I like Arthur Blank. Like as far as owners go, that's one of the few owners I of a of a NFL franchise that I actually like. Right. And I can't believe some of the he stuff good that dude, he even came out and said. Oh, he's yeah, a really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 knew he understood his market. He understood yeah. he was in Atlanta, and he marketed it to, he marketed the Atlanta Falcons to Black folks. Right, right, right. <laughs> and. They, they have sold out that they have sold out that arena as that, poor as them teams been. We'll, that's we'll, why. That's why. That's why Lamont need an agent. We'll make, him, we'll make him a lot of money. 
I mean, right. I, bro. Home Depot. They, they shout out to them though, man. <laughs> shout out to them. You shout make out, out some shout, shout out to all the break, man. Hey, 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 hey. Them, I looked at that tax statement. That, that Home Depot was on that day. Man. Deep, huh? Seven figures. I was like, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. It's like, man, I need to cut back on some of this stuff. But I mean, that's, that's, I mean. But God is good. He's all the time. All the time. I mean, but I. I that's a good team for Lamar, though. Absolutely, but it's a perfect a, team he for Lamar. Need an agent to be telling all the blank. You need Lamar. It's a, it's like it's hard for Lamar to say you need me. I probably versus, say it's a second for second. As far as for, for as far as Lamar goes, Dolphins for me, that would be perfect, ideal for him since he is from South Florida, or Tampa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All Tampa. Yeah, this is crazy, and that's the craziest thing to me. Like. These teams came out day one of free agency and was like, yo, we not interested. Yeah. You're not interested in a 26-year-old MVP of the league? Because he ain't got no agent. So I can say that, that in won 75% of no, the games but, he's but, played? But that's you know what that is, man. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah. You know, they ain't going to say what it is, no, but, but I know what it is. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. So Arthur Blink is the one who really could use him and market to more of the fans. It'll be Vic 2.0. But, 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 but Arthur Blank is fighting between... It, it, Without the let without me, the uh, without the baggage. Here's, 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 here's what I know. Here's what I know about the fraternity that is NFL owners, NBA owners. Here's what I know about every fraternity that there is, that the fraternity sticks together. And if it causes for me to take some, you know, y'all hear what I'm about to say? Because I don't even believe this word, and I'm saying. But if it causes for me to take some down years, remember now, there's no NFL team that goes in the red. <laughs> they always profit. They profit every year. Hold on, yep. hold on. Who's, yep. who's the trash team in the league right now? This year, trash Falcons. team in the league. Falcons. Pro- yeah. Profit. And, and I'm saying that because I'm from New Orleans. Oh, profits wise. Oh, no, 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 I'm going to stick with what the frat is doing versus trying to just jump out and make a play for my for my individual franchise to win. But they here's but but he Arthur I, Blank has Arthur Blank has already done this once in his own ownership career. He signed Michael Vick to the first 100 million dollar contract. But that's different though. That's different. Don't, don't, here's the his difference. I agree that but the difference is this that you're digging into a whole nother state of being cuz cuz uh, Michael Vick still had an agent. Mm-hmm. Michael Vick wasn't doing it on his own. And that's old from him. And he had all of those. That's still from him. Right, right. And he had all of those. <laughs> right, but, but hey. So, so when you looking so, at Lamar, I'm like, so, hey, I get you. No, I do. I do 100%. <laughs> yeah. but, but, it, but, it, but it's a status, it's, it's status that I can't let this go on because, once again, we talked about, um, uh, last week we talked about the, the little thing they put out talking about the NIL chaos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're, they're trying, they're trying, you see, they're, yeah, trying Congress, to, yeah. they're trying to downplay it because yeah. You're getting too much control. No, they trying to not downplay it. They they trying to overhype it. They trying to it, well, it was, it, so they trying to they trying to make it sound like a national emergency. No, but I'm saying they trying, they trying, I'm saying they trying to downplay nil. NIL oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Because, because I'm saying we saying the same saying, thing. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because, yeah. but, but because is this? I found out something about rules. Rules can be two things, and sometimes they're 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 marketed as protection, right? Mm-hmm. But rules are also limitations. Mm-hmm. Yep. In a lot of instances, depending on which side you stand on and who the rule is for, y'all get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So, so in in this particular thing, you're about to, you you could possibly be Dante, and we would say it. I would I know I would say it to a young dude if he could do it. We possibly could be scratching out a whole industry, or, 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 or putting a dent in a whole industry. When I'm saying agencies, man, what is the CAA? Mm-hmm. What is it called? The CAA? CBA? Yeah, CAA. Yeah, yeah, like 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 they've been had they've oh, been yeah, had, yeah. they've been having creative artists. Of, yeah, yeah, creative, creative artists. artists. Yeah, they've been having the, the, the agency thing in 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 a chokehold. Yeah, all directions. And, uh, so so what music you music so, and, and so you talking sports, they they entertainment. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you talking Lamar? You talking Lamar? He can pull off two hundred thirty million dollars with no agent. Mm. Shit, me too. Mm-hmm. I'm coming out. I can pull off if if I'm good enough. Mm. I can if I'm if I'm if I'm a top pick. I'm, if I'm good enough, I'm gonna do it too. The next thing you know, if I'm Lamar, I'm calling one agent. I'm Deshaun Watson agent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 Desha- but Deshaun Watson agent, I think, got like 15 other starting quarterbacks. 
Mm. That's fine. So, mm. but we said that last week too. Right, but, like, but, yeah. but it's also the, the point of these college kids got agents now. Uh, young Reese got an agent. That's how yeah. she had all the NIL yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, getting on off set, the plane. Already. Right. Getting, she said she said in the in the interview, my agent gave me these gifts yeah. at the final four. Yeah, yeah. see, and see what's gonna happen is what you what you're doing. Now these, these agents ain't CAA agents. Mm -mm. <laughs> so but, mm -mm. but but what who who agent gonna keep with her when she go to the league? Huh? Especially if she got the the buzz. Well, I know her league going different, but if she got the buzz, then you got to negotiate with me. If I got an agent, you got to negotiate with, with my agent because I got the buzz. I'm the talent. You see what I'm saying? Stuff stuff is changing, and it's okay. It's okay for uh, we can go back to Wiley and Gill, uh, Gilly and Wallow, How they say they have a partnership. Mm -hmm. Not nothing wrong with having a partnership with an agent. Nope. Like set your set fee. And say, here you go. Like we do, we do some property management stuff. Like Dr. Dante got a property manager, right? right. right. So you pay him a set fee every month, right, Dante? Mm -hmm. So it's nothing wrong no, with no matter saying, no matter what you make off of it. He got a set fee. They got yeah. set. They got their set fee. Yeah. That's yeah. what they do, and they're gonna give you the best business that you can give you. So it's nothing wrong with saying, hey, I don't want no agent, but hey, look over this deal for me. Yep. Yeah. Hey, go get me. You go get me five deals. I'm gonna pay you this amount of money. For right. the five deals that you pay me now, now and you, bring it back to me. You being even more disruptive than not having an agent. Because you're using all the but, agents. But they scared. They scared that's, of that, that's man. That's the same thing we right. do in real estate, right? right. And so that's why they're I think of, of it that way. When you, list, when you list with one agent in real estate, right, you're not listing with that agent. You're listing with that one agent. But that agent is in that MLS, so now you're getting thousands of other agents actually working for you yeah, at one time. 100%. Because right. they're trying to so make that sale, they, right, right. It, right? It's different, bro, instead of being a, just a for sale by owner. Well, I mean, look, I, I understand. I mean, I understand agent, but I mean, it's not, it's not Lamar going to sit down and talk to these people. I mean, he's sending a lawyer, <laughs> like, like right. he's in a legal team to go and talk to these people. Which you come off, you come off cheaper. To to me, to me, I think, I think, I think it's the, I think it's once again, it's the, it's a, it's a, 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 a doggone character. We want to be in control issue. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. I want you to do it the way I want you to do it, mm -hmm. and I think that's what it comes down to. I don't think I think there's there's several teams that want Lamar, mm -hmm. but they're not gonna say it because it's that good old boy thing. I've seen it happen in a bunch of different industries. I've seen it, and that's why in I, all kind of industries. And it's like it's the obvious thing is to to do this, but it's like mm, we got these things that we're trying to hold in place, mm -hmm. and that's what, and, and that's what but that's what frustrate and that's what frustrated the media about Lamar because. They didn't. They don't know his moves because they don't, the people right? that the media talk to are agents, GMs, mm -hmm. owners. But call them all. Be a man and call them man. That's what I'm saying. Just call them straight up. Call them face. Yeah, call, call them. Call them and talk, call talk to them hey, face man, to face. I want to come sit down and do an interview. Do this in the season. I ain't saying wait till now. Do this in the season. Be prepared. Be a journalist. journalist. Why we always talk about being exactly. a journalist versus an analyst. Like everybody want to be an analyst now. Be a journalist, bro. Go do your research. Go do your homework. And that's bro. what I'm saying. And that's and so that's why they formulate these narratives that don't that come off crazy to us. What you saying, <laughs> hey, bro, I've, been, I've been people. I've been people lately. Yeah, good, I mean, I, I get everything y'all saying, and by all stretch of imagination, Lamar Jackson, get your money, get your money. But every get, if you don't want to get an agent, cool. If you get an agent, cool. Please get paid. Just get your mm -hmm. money. That's what the but, NFLPA want them to do. That's and, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but, as, but, as, but as for sure, I know that Chad Dante sitting in this blue, <laughs> right? Lamar Jackson is not winning the Super Bowl, and I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. No. He ain't never I don't even know. No, he's not winning the Super Bowl. That came never? out of left this field. Said, this has been evergreen. <laughs> this has been evergreen no, about this man. He's, he's, not, he's not winning the Super Bowl, and I'm, I'm, he's not winning the Super Bowl. I'm sorry. He's not winning it. Lamar, Lamar Jackson's not winning the Super Bowl. No, nah, he's a dynamic talent. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But I said this once, once a couple weeks ago on this podcast. Obviously, if you get the right offense, maybe you can kind of, you know, well, scheme them up a little bit. And I know y'all made a comparison with Jalen Hurts, right? Or get the right team around him. <sighs> Jalen Hurts not going back to the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, I see that too. Yeah. It ain't. It ain't. So, <laughs> what I'm saying but is, but I, but in his entire career, Jalen Hurts is not touching the Super Bowl. Nah, the NFC about to get real. Not going back. The NFC about to like, get real. Like you, like, I, I don't think Joe Burrow gonna win the Super Bowl either. Like you, you I, I don't think people realize. Like, yeah, we, we it is entertainment, <laughs> but man, like skills. It, it's mm -hmm. skills, it's, it's certain skill set that you have to have. Like, like if like a skill set like a Patrick Mahomes, a skill set like even like Aaron Rodgers, he just 
off the wall, but if he ever decides, like, okay, I want to – he can do that. You know what I mean? I think people like Jalen Hurts, don't get me wrong, look, work hard, incredibly talented, people like Lamar Jackson, but it's only so much that you can do because at some point you're going to have to beat me with your arm, mm. and I just don't think they can do it. It's yeah. like Dak Prescott. He ain't never going to win. Nope. But get your money, please. <laughs> Like, that that got his. Yeah, please get it. But I just, I just, that's just my my opinion. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't take, you wouldn't take Lamar as an owner. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna take him. I'm, I'm gonna sell tickets. But you gonna know you ain't. <laughs> oh, so you 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 okay with not winning? Yes, because you winning. Yes. What owner is? Yeah. <laughs> what, what owner? Is, no owner really cares about no Super Bowl. No, they don't. They don't. They just happen to happen to win one. Mm-hmm. What, what what is the Super Bowl? G, GMs care though. GMs do. What GMs what, what, what does Super Bowl do for a team? What does the Super Bowl do for a, 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 a franchise? Like what li- season uh, tickets will be sold out next year? But all season <laughs> tickets and every team sold out every year. But we saw the Saints do that with the trash the, the bag. Saint, the, Saint, the Saints got a thirty-five thousand wait list right now for season tickets, and they have Dennis Allen as the head coach. That's and crazy. Derek Carr as the quarterback. That's crazy. Thirty-five thousand people on a waiting so list. So what are we really talking about? They can expand the Superdome <laughs> right now and sell out. <laughs> they can play every game at Tiger Stadium and sell out. The Super Bowl actually benefits the players more than the franchise. Mm-hmm. And the uh, front office staff move up and get diff- different jobs at different organizations because right. they move they move up. Because even Lamar, like he, even his own division, if he stays with the Ravens, he's 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 not gonna beat he's not gonna beat Burrow. But they not neither one of them gonna beat Mahomes. No. I, I don't. Know, I think Burrow can. Uh, Joe, I, I mean, I, I've seen Joe yeah, Burrow yeah, already Joe, beat yeah, Joe, him. Already I, think, beat him. I, I think Joe gonna get back. <laughs> to, it's gonna be tough. But I think Joe can get back to Super Bowl. He wasn't and, and, this and, and, and it's, but it's gonna be just like Iowa. Yeah, you did all of that to win the AFC Championship, and you gonna bomb in the Super Bowl. We, did we not just see that with with, with the Bengals? He didn't bomb he in the Super the, Bowl. The, the team, Bowl. they lost, man. It's about winning and losing. I know, yeah. Two teams ain't going to the White he, House, man. He, he, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not saying. No, 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 no. You're saying no, like they no. ain't put up no points. Well, yeah. uh, he but, was, but what he I'm was, saying is they, the team is never going to be good enough. He, 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 he won chip block away from winning. Bro, he, won, he Joe Burrow is one <laughs> Hall of Fame defensive tackle monster <laughs> from winning that football game. When they when they when they going to get him drafted when they drafting it? Nah, when the Bengals are going to get the Hall of Fame defensive tackle to help to help them on defense, not because you you yeah. can't you can't stop Aaron Donald, so you got to get somebody to affect the other quarterback. To me, to when me are you say, gonna but, get but, one? But you're not gonna find that. You, name my Aaron, point exactly. Aaron you're Donald's, not gonna find Aaron, that. Aaron Donald's yo. Just generational. To, like, to me, like, to, to me, to me for that. It's Super like Warren Sapp and then Aaron Donald. Yeah, like, that's, that's, that's a long time for the Speaking of the Super Bowl, to me, he's one. It's a, it's a this is coaching to me. He's one running back chip block away from winning the Super Bowl. Because Jamar is open. That's wide open. Wide open. Wide open. Wide open. And if Aaron Donald don't get around cool. that corner and make uh-huh. that tackle, if you if you slow him down for two seconds. Ball not even that. Second and a half. Second and a half. Yeah, yeah, not even that, bro. You need a second. We, we talking we talk, we talk Super Bowl <laughs> champion, Joe Burrow. But nah, we ain't talking that. No, if, uh, the, if, uh, that, uh, if yeah, that play would have happened, it would have yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's that part of the game that was over with. What you saying? Jamal gonna drop the ball? <laughs> I, 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 I ride with Jamal. I ride with Jamal. All I'm saying is I got to see it. And I ain't well, yeah, see it. You ain't it. see it. You're right. It I happened like it happened. It happened like it happened. Wait, wait, wait. Now he did, get back, he did get back to the AFC Championship game this year. He gonna get back to the AFC Championship game every year. I, think, I never I, said I never said man. Joe Burrow not a winner. I never said Joe Burrow not gonna, gonna be a Hall of Famer. I, 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 I think I'm gonna do it. I never said he not a dog. Like, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. I don't even know how he even got to be. How many times the Bengals ever won a Super Bowl? It don't matter, will. It don't matter. It don't matter. No, the Cavaliers and win a so basketball. So not the LSU basketball, women's basketball. Now they just gonna win one randomly. Hey, uh, hey. It can pop. It hey, can hey, hey, I tell you what, it. it's good for the league. <laughs> it's good for the league. It was good for the league. It's gonna work out. We saw some plays this year. We saw some calls for for Kansas City this year. Yeah, yeah, come on, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, like, come mm, on. It was good for the league. Yeah, it was. It for, was. for Pat to win. I'm not saying he Pat wasn't balling. Yeah, he balled. <coughs> but y'all know we saw. Why we saw three third downs. Three. So, so they. So they yeah. I never seen that in my life. life. No. And nobody can still ex- nobody and, can explain it. Nobody can explain it. All can do anything about it. So they got one guy out there, man. He um he predict he so called predicts the future. Who gonna win this next Super Bowls over mm-hmm. the next twenty years? Mm-hmm. He and he's picked the last twenty. They say he's picked the last twenty. Right? He got the Bengals winning in two years. See, man, listen to that man. Listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, 
Will, 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 come on, man. You be making good investments, but you know, <laughs> you got a bet, you bet on that. Will, 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 I know what's gonna happen because he does. He does this to me when he texts me. I'm like, "Hey man, shit, I just won." Hey, hey, he gonna do. He gonna do that with Joe Burrow, bro. He gonna. He, he gonna text it. Hey, hey, back. Man, hit a lick with Joe Burrow. <laughs> 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 I, I told you they say you win it in two years. I told you that. That's what you got to do. Will say we got to bet. Yeah, man. I'm telling you. Will say, Will say, I can't have too many betters in here. Don't mess with my. Bro, Will, bro, Will, when you in the game, we'll, we'll be texting, bro. We'll be talking about schemes and stuff. All of a sudden, Shay Beck just came up about 300. <laughs> I came up 300 just eating avocado, man. Oh, eat avocado. man. Let's go. Yo, this is this has been Evergreen Pie. Hey, nah, eat healthy man. too, man. Eat healthy, eat healthy. Tell <laughs> them what to do, Doug. Tell them what to do. Man, make sure you go, <laughs> make sure you go subscribe to our YouTube channel, the Evergreen Podcast, TikTok, the Evergreen Podcast, Instagram, the Evergreen, oh, Evergreen Podcast. We see you on YouTube, the subscribers, the comments. Yep. Uh, keep it coming. We appreciate the views. We appreciate the likes. Hope y'all enjoy the content. EJ the DJ. EJ the DJ. Shout out to EJ. Shout out to Swag. We're going to get Swag on the mic next week. Yes, sir. <laughs> or maybe later this week. Or maybe later this week. Where my boy Troy at, man? Shout yeah, Troy, out to Troy, Troy said he put the pull up, man. We're going to see, though, man. We're going to see. Hey, wait, we got to get Swag in the boxing ring, bro. Swag, like, he going to knock somebody out, bro. Hey, he might, might be, bro. He might be. Swag, all swag you going to hand Swag? <laughs> <laughs> that shit at all. Yo, Evergreen Pod, y'all. We out. Thank you.